today on Spartan TV, the best of me and character matters. Mandarin Cookies in structural video and dragons on the Sunrise Campus. These stories and more, it all starts now on Spartan TV. Hello, and welcome to Spartan TV. I'm Sam. And I am Wesley. This is Spartan TV, Episode 6. What do you think is the best of you? Here's Sunrise students talking about what is the best of me. The best part of me is my personality because a lot of people say that I'm really nice and funny and, uh, yeah. The best part of me are my eyes because I can see myself, I can see my friends, I can see the people I love, and yeah. The best part of me is, is my hands because I get to cook with my mom. The best part of me is my ears because I can listen to people talk and also listen to music. The best part of me is my legs because I can walk with them and I can move around places. The best part of me is my fingers because I can write properly. The best part of me is my personality because my friends say I'm weird, funny, loving, and nice. The best part of me is my vocal cords because I can do musicals and I could talk to my family and tell them that I love them. The best part of me is my hands so I can frost cakes and play basketball. The best part of me is my eyelashes because they brush away the dirt by my eyes. The best part of me is my eyes because I can see my surroundings and my family and friends. The best part of me is my mouth because I get to talk to people I love. Sunrise second graders, Ms. Stecker and Ms. Sweeney, classes put on the Character Matters musical. It was amazing. The meal costumes were my favorite. Here's the video. Character matters. You must care how you act. Character matters. And are the only responsible pig around here? Look at this wolf. Don't you think he wants to try and eat us? Yes. She's my too and sleeping in my bed. She was so cute, all tucked up in the covers. Cooking? Do you enjoy cooking cookies? Mila and Madison are here with an instructional video on how to cook Mandarin cookies. Hello, today we are making meringue cookies. These meringue cookies come from France, Swiss, and England. The materials you need to make meringue cookies are scissors to cut the bags. You also need measuring cups extracts to flavor your cookies, and you will also need four bowls. You will also need sugar, sprinkles, five eggs or more, bags, and an automatic mixer. Now preheat the oven to 250 degrees. Crack your eggs. Remember, you only need the egg white. Blend your eggs. And this should be the final result of mixing the eggs. Now we are going to transfer sugar into the mix. You're going to need one and a half cups. Now you need to mix the sugar with the egg mixture. Now transfer your mixture and to the three bowls for as many flavors as you need.
Now you need to add your extracts. Blend your extracts. Strawberry. Banana. Finally, vanilla. Now, we're going to put our mixtures into our measuring cups and then pour them into the bag. It's time to cut your bags. Now, squeeze your batter onto the pan. Add sprinkles. Place your cookies on the top and bottom of the oven. Set your timer for 45 minutes. While the cookies are baking, make sure to clean up your area. Relax until the cookies are done. Cookies are ready. Grab your cookies. Let your cookies cool for about 15 minutes. And this should be your end result. And that's, that's how you make meringue cookies. cookies. presented the Reader's Theatre performances last month. Once upon a time in a small Japanese village, there lived a poor farmer and his wife. The farmer and his wife were... Fantastic Beasts. Dragons come to sunrise every time third grader Fiona steps on campus. Here's, the, here's Kenshin with the story. Hi, this is Kenshin from Spyin TV. This is Fiona and she has a passion for dragons. Hello, Mom and Dad! How long have you enjoyed dragons? I think, like, since I was born. Yeah. What's your favorite dragon? Well, it's actually a tie between sea wings, rain wings, and night wings. They're all very cool dragons with very cool powers, but um, yeah, they're my favorites. How many dragons have you read? Five. Fiona made a dragon video explaining all types of dragons. Here's her dragon video. Fiona and I'm here to tell you some awesome facts about dragons. Here's the first thing. The first thing we are going to talk about is big dragons versus small dragons. Most big dragons are rude and grumpy. On the other paw, small dragons are very cute. But you, but you should know if you want to own one, they throw temper tantrums. I like babies. Even though big dragons are grumpy, they can still be rude really helpful. Did you know in, that in China, dragons don't have wings? It's true. Dragons are different in different parts of the world. In Europe, dragons are one of the most feared creatures. But in China, European dragons are called dinosaurs. Have you ever wondered what a dragon horn is? It's like a stamp or a bot collection, but it could be made of almost anything. They usually hoard gold, but it could be anything from refrigerators to Christmas cheer. As long as they can sleep on it, they can hoard it. Here's how to tell a dragon from a big lizard. First, dragons breathe fire. Second, lizards never have wings. Third, dragons are mostly bigger than lizards. If you want to know more, look some facts in a computer or a book. This is Fiona signing off.
Please remember that every Thursday is early hour and school is dismissed at 1.55 p.m. The Sunrise McGarvey Carnival is this Friday. Thank you for watching Spartan TV. I'm Sam. And I'm Wesley. See, See you next time. time.